give you all my worship i will give you all my praise you alone i long to worship you alone at worthy of my praise good morning god bless you and i welcome you um, to this beautiful morning by god's grace is at saturday the 30th day of march 2024 god has been so good i'm looking for corinthians chapter 15 this morning and verse 31 the bible says i protest by your rejoicing which i have in christ jesus our lord i die daily hallelujah i die daily to god be the glory one of the most easiest but yet difficult thing to do is to look at those that has gone ahead of us discover the secret of their living follow the same pattern and we end up with the same result now as easy as what i said is a lot of people have great examples all around them in front of them living with them but yet we not follow that example for whatever reason it was amen now one of the significant individuals that has ever lived in our time uh, uh, both in his days and even our day was Paul the Apostle and he looked at the life of Jesus he explained the works of Jesus in details to us that will soon be believers even after that time and he gave us one of the secrets of his life remember this was a man that was very honest to share with us some certain struggles within himself I believe the other day he was saying that the things that he wanted to do he could not but the thing that he vowed and prayed that he was not going to do those things he found himself doing and he cried out who oh, will deliver me from this body of sin the same man came up with this analysis that if you must fulfill your calling if you must end well if you must see jesus at the end of this journey if you must live your life in such a way to please the lord jesus you should be ready to die daily hallelujah i believe it was this same paul the apostle that says i am crucified with christ nevertheless i live for it not die for christ that liveth in me and the life that i live by the grace of god i live uh, the life that i live i live by the grace of god who has loved me and gave himself to me what does it mean to die daily? number one is to be crucified Huh? where the flesh have no control over you i believe you know that the flesh we are referring to has nothing to do with your physical body no it has everything to do with your mind your mind your mindsets the processes of your mind because the bible say out of the out of it come the issues of life hallelujah so to be crucified is to have your mind surrendered completely to him to be crucified is to have your mind completely yielded to him to be crucified is to have your mind completely turned and tuned over to him the moment that is done beloved you are up and flying by the grace of god do you want to please the lord you want to live for him apart from you crucify him and number two submit your will to him hallelujah submit your will to him jesus said nevertheless not my will but thy will be done hallelujah remember the bible says that he will not struggle with us hallelujah he will not strive with us so the moment our will is not in line with his own will then such an individual can never please the lord you want to know what it is to die daily number two is to surrender your will when you say father not my will but let your will prevail over my life number three to die daily is to let go and let god there are many people that have a lot of things up in their spirit a lot of things up in their sleeve that if they want to go by the strength of their power they they are ready to fight they are ready to revenge they are ready to do everything 
But the moment you say, Jesus, I hand it over to you. Whatever you will have me do is what I will do. I let go of this matter. I let go of this issue. I let go of this concern because of you. Then, beloved, we are up and running, fulfilling the love of Jesus. Number four and the last this morning, what does it mean to die daily? Is to forgive from your heart. The Bible says, as long as the earth remained, offenses will come. But woe to be to that individual to, to, from where offense will arise from. But to us as individual, you should be ready. There are people that without you provoking them, they are ready to provoke you. Without you far crossing their path, they are ready to do what will pain your heart. This morning, you need to have what I call advanced forgiveness. Even for the people that will offend you, that will do ill or harm against you today. Hallelujah. There are so many things that this will carry. But Paul the Apostle summarizes it in one word. I die daily. Let that be your prayer and I pray you will not fail. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you this morning. I'm grateful. Appreciate you over the life of every soul you have blessed. Thank you for your favor, your blessings, and your beauty. Father, be magnified in Jesus' name. Living Father, I'm praying this morning for grace to die daily, grace to have our mind exercised, grace to have our will yielded up to you, grace to let go and to let go on, grace to forgive readily and easily. Release that grace upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Now be favored, be blessed, be lifted. Let the hand of the Lord rest on you. Be surrounded, be empowered, be fired in Jesus' name. My covenant, I seal everyone hearing my voice with the blood of Jesus. It is well with your soul. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Good morning. Once again, thank you for being part of our devotion. Please share with others. Maranatha.